Hello dear students, Assalamu alaikum, I am your maths teacher, so today we will study from countdown book 6. <coughs> so today's uh, video is about uh, LCM and ACF. So we are on exercise uh, 4B, 4A already we have done. So these are the concepts, so least common multiple LCM, least common multiple. So uh, here we will study about this concept and then LCM by prime factorization method right? and then we will study LCM by division method. So, these three methods uh, are given here and we will uh, try to solve the question. So, exercise 4b find the LCM of the following numbers by a common multiple method. So, you have to take multiples of the given numbers 4, 6, 8 given in the first question. So, here 4, 6 and 8, multiples of 4 are 4, 1 is 4, 4, 2 is 8, 4, 3 is 12, 4, 4 is 16, 4, 5 is 20 and up to 40 we have taken. So, table of 4 up to 40 and then multiples of 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, multiples of 8, 16, 24, 32 and 40. So, 40 is the answer uh, that is common in all three numbers. Then second one is 10, 15 and 20. So, taking multiples of 10, 15, 20 and then 60 is the common number. So, LCM will be 60, right. So, question number 2, find LCM uh, by prime factorization method, right. So, we have to take prime factors of the given numbers and then we will uh, find the answer. So, find LCM by prime factorization methods. First one is 45, 75 and 125. So, separately we find the factors of, of these given numbers. 45, 3, 15 is a 45, 3, 5 is a 15, 5, 1 is a 5. 3, 25 is a 75, 5, 5 is a 25, 5, 1 is a 5. <coughs> then 5, 25 is a 125 and then 5, 1, 5, 5 is a 25 and then 5. So, these are the uh, uh, prime factors taken. So, you must know how to uh, calculate these uh, um, numbers means that you must know how to divide uh, 45 and always we start by smallest number dividing by smallest number. So, uh, these are the factors of 45 3 multiply 3 multiply 5 factors of 75 3 multiply 5 multiply 5 factors of 125 5 multiply 5 multiply 5. So, common numbers, right, common in all three numbers, then 2 and then again uh, number common in 2. Uh, so, then the remaining uh, number also we take. So, common numbers we write first and then non-common numbers and we take all together and then multiply. So, the LCM is 1025. Second part is 35, 49, 91. So, taking uh, factors, prime factors. So, dividing 5 7s are 35 and 7 1s are 7. 7 7s are 49, 7 1s are 7. 7 13s are 91, 13 1s are 13. So, then uh, you write this uh, prime factors in a sequence. So, then take common, 7 is common and non common numbers are 5 7 and 13. So, multiplying all together the numbers we get 3185 is the LCM. So, third part is <coughs> 42. 48 and 56 given. So, see these are the prime factors of 42, 48 and 56. So, then we write this these uh, prime factors in a sequence and then we take common and non-common numbers multiplying common and non-common numbers all together we get 336 is the answer. Okay, then fourth part is 28, 35, 56, 84, 28, 2, 14, right? 28, 2, 7 the 14, 7 1 the 7, 5, 7 the 35, 7 1 the 7. So, 2 to the 4, 1 carry 2 at the 16, then 2, 1 the 2, 2 4 the 8, 2 7 the 14, 7 1 the 7. So, 2 4 the 8, 2 to the 4, 2 to the 4, 2 1 the 2, 3 is 7 the 21, 7 1 the 7. Okay. 28 is equal to, uh, these are the prime factors, 28, 35, 56. And we take common factors first and then non common factors also we multiply and get the product that is 840. Right? So, these are the uh, 
given numbers and uh, we have taken the LCM by prime factorization method. Now question number 3 calculate the LCM by division method right. So, these are the numbers given. So, we will see that how to calculate by division method. So, LCM by division method. So, 45 and 50 are given first part. So, we now we take all these numbers together and take them and divide uh, with different numbers. So, smallest number always we see uh, here should be started by 2, but uh, here uh, you can start by 2. So, I have started by 3. So, 3 15 is a 45, 50 as it is, 3 5 is a 15, 50 as it is. So, 2 25 is a 50, 5 1 is a 5, 5 5 is a 25, and so this is. So, this is uh, these are the factors, and we uh, multiply them and get the product that is 450. So, <coughs> second part 14, 21, 56. So, uh, dividing them by the suitable numbers and we get all these factors and then multiply and we get answer 68 okay then these are uh, different numbers given 16 24 30 40 and 48 so we keep them all together and start uh, dividing by uh, 2 right so these are the factors so we multiply them all together and we get uh, 120 is LCM. So, last one is 36, 54, 72, 96, 108 divided by uh, starting with 2. So, then we take all these factors. So, you have to practice a lot to uh, uh, calculate these factors. So, then you multiply all these factors and you get 864. Okay. Question number 4 is find the lowest number divisible by 15, 20 and 25. So, question number 4 answer is find the lowest number divisible by 15, 20 and 25. Uh, LCM by division method 15, 20, 25 division method we have to find out. So, we calculate this to, uh, to start with 2, 2 times are 20, 25 as it is, 15 as it is because it is not divisible by 2. So, 2 5 are 10, 25 as it is, 15 as it is. 3 5 is a 15 and 5 as it is and 25 as it then we divide it by 5, 5 1 is a 5, 5 1 is a 5, 5 is a 25 then again by 5 1 is a 5. So, we multiply this and we get the factors and we get 300 is the answer. Then question number 5, find the lowest number between 200 and 500. So, we have to find out the LCM between 200 and 500, these numbers are given which leaves a remainder of 3 in each case right. So, these are the number given 8, 10, 12 and 30 we will see we will take their factors. So, question number 5 8, 10, 12, 30 these are the factors given right so, uh, numbers given. So, we take their factors this is these are the uh, numbers we get uh, 2, 2, 2, 3 times 2 5, uh, 3 and then 5. So, we multiply them we get answer 120. So, now 120 is the answer. So, lowest number between we have to find out the lowest number between uh, 200 and 500. So, we have 120. So, we take multiples of 120, 120 uh, multiples are 240, 360, this is 2 times, this is 3 times 1, 360, 4 times 480 and 5 times 600. So, 240 is the uh, number between 200 and 500, right. So, that is the number, uh, the 360 is also less than 500, 480 is also, but this is the lowest number, least number in between 200 and 500. So, this is your LCM. <coughs> then, uh, find the smallest number which when divided by 12, 15, 18, 27 leaves a remainder 8, 12, 11, 14 and 23. So, first of all the given numbers we take their factor uh, divide, uh, division method LCM by division method. So, uh, 2, uh, 2, 3, 3, 3 and then 5 we multiply them and get the product and this is the LCM at uh, 540 right. So, now <coughs> the remainder given remainder is 8, 11, uh, 14 and 23. So, <coughs> So, given remainder 8. So, these are the uh, give, uh, if you see this 12, 15, 18 and 27. We subtract 8 remainder from 12 is equal to 4. So, from 15 we subtract 11 that is equal to 4. 
from 18 we subtract 14 that is also equal to 4. So, these 12, 15, 18 these are the given numbers for uh, we uh, as we have uh, taken the LCM by Dwayne method. So, remainder number number given as remainder we will subtract from those numbers and 4 is the common number <coughs> which is left behind right. So, so required number uh, we, uh, we have to find out now. So, required number is equal to LCM that is 540, LCM is given 540 and the number minus 4 will uh, uh, will subtract from LCM 540 minus 4 that is equal to 536 is your required number. Then find the smallest number of 4 digits which when divided by 40, 50, 60 leaves a remainder of 5 in each case. Right. Question number 7, 40, 50, 60 these numbers are given so we take the LCM by Dwayne method and LCM is 600. Now smallest 4 digit number is 1000 right. So, <coughs> uh, we add if you divide this uh, 1000 4 digit number by uh, 600 so we get remainder is 400. So, adding 1000 4 digit number plus LCM and subtracting minus 4 so we get 1200 and uh, it is given in the question that 5 is the remainder in each case. So, we add uh, 5 in 1200 and we get 1205 right. So, this is your required number. Then question number 8 find the greatest number of 5 digits which when divided by 25, 30, 40 leaves a remainder of 20, 25 and 35. Right. Okay. So, <coughs> the given numbers uh, 25, 30 and 40 we take their LCM by Dwayne method and LCM is 600 right. So, greatest 5 digit number uh, we that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 9 right. So, we divide greatest number by 600 and then remainder is 399 right. So, now <coughs> greatest 5 digit number and we subtract this remainder from greatest 5 digit number and that is double nine six hundred. And remainder in each case in this question is also uh, 5. So, <coughs> double nine six hundred we subtract 5 and we get double nine five nine five, right. So, th this calculation you can see. Right. So, given remainders are 20, 25 and uh, 35, right. So, if you subtract uh, this given remainder from the given number 25 minus 20 is equal to 5, uh, 30 minus 25 is equal to 5 and 35 minus uh, th that is 35, no, 40 minus 35 that is also equal to 5. So, this is the uh, number left uh, by subtracting uh, from the given number the remainder numbers. So, we subtract here 5 and we get the answer this is your required number right ok. Then question number 9 what is the lowest number that must be added to 2000 so that the sum is uh, sum is divisible exactly by 10, 12 and 18. So, this these are the 10, 12, 16 and 18 these are the numbers given. So, we take their LCM by Dwayne method and LCM is 720 right. So, <coughs> dividing the given uh, number uh, lowest number that must be added to 2000. So, 2000 is the number given. So, we divide uh, 2000 by 720 and the remainder is 560. So, from 720 LCM we subtract the remainder 560 and we get answer 160 right. So, question number 10, 4 bells toll after intervals of 8, 9, 12 and 15 minutes respectively if they toll together at 3 pm, uh, uh, when will they toll together next time. So, 8, 9, 12, 15 are the given numbers, we take their LCM by Dwayne method and uh, uh, multiplying all these factors and it LCM is 360 minutes right. So, we change uh, we divide minutes in uh, when we convert these minutes into hours right we divide by 60. So, <coughs> 0 with 0 6 1 the 6 6 6 the 36. So, 6 it it is we have converted minutes into hours and that is 6 hours 
so 3 pm uh, if the bell if tall together at 3 pm so we add 6 hours into 3 hours and that makes 9 hours so after 9 hours the bell will tall uh, will ring together again thank you